Check, check. Welcome back to the channel, Go Got Em Kicks. Man, I've been going through a drought. Listen, I have not been able to get any of these shoes. Alternate Grape Fives. Um, this is a bunch of shoes I have not been able to get, but I was fortunate enough to get my hands on these. But before we get into that, before we talk about that, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time seeing this uh, channel. If this is your first time seeing my videos. And please comment on what shoes you want to hit on. Because, like I said, I haven't been hitting on any shoes for some reason. But that's neither here nor there. But stay tuned. Make sure you guys watch the entire video because I have a very, very special surprise on a shoe that I didn't hit on, but somebody else hit on, and I'm gonna show that shoe to you. So today, I have a short review. Some people call them the Toros, but they're officially called the Gym Red. I was very excited to hit on this shoe. Um, yeah, another shoe I forgot about was the Dunks, those red and white Dunks. I wanted those so bad. Didn't hit on them on sneakers actually hit on them on Nordstrom's but of course they canceled everybody's order because they just oversold their stock so that's neither here nor there but today I have a review for you as you can see the Jordan 14 retro box all read out the label reads Air Jordan 14 retro the colorway is black gym red red off white so let's get into the sneakers like i said i was super excited to hit on these because i knew they were going to be a, a very difficult release everybody i talked to when they get their hands on them and i was very fortunate for being able to do that so taking them out of the box this is one of my favorite releases of the year like no doubt i love these shoes now it's just very aesthetically pleasing to me uh, the all red well not all red but the majority red is dope um, and I, I am a fan of 14s uh, my favorite one uh, would probably have to be the last shots but this right here is coming to a close close second as you can see uh, the materials are really really good um, the shoe feels really, really good. Just starting here on the upper, you have your gym red. Um, it's so clean too. It's just so clean. Um, my favorite part about this shoe is that, uh, it's modeled after Michael Jordan's favorite car at the time. I don't know if it's still his favorite car, but that would be a Ferrari. Uh, you saw that in the last dance. You saw that, um, he loved those cars. And that's what this shoe was actually modeled after. And you can see it all over the shoe, but we'll get into that. Shout out to Yeti. So like I said, on the upper, you have your uh, gem red and you have your little eyelet here. It's got your little peel off plastic. I'm gonna keep mine on there cause I'm not too sure when I'm rocking these because I'm not really outside like that. But coming down uh, to your midsole, and it's very interesting here in the midsole because you have um, your black here coming back from the toe box. You have your white, but this is where you have your off white. That's in the colorway here. And I think it's a really good combination. It really makes it pop. I think it's dope. Here down here, you have some black um, resembling the Lamborghini. Sorry, not the Lamborghini. <laughs> resembling the Ferrari. Like I said, Mike's favorite whip at that time and that's who the designers modeled this after and you can see that on the side here coming down to the outsole you have your majority black outsole your 14 roman numeral here and you have your red jump man on the back you have your 23 and you have your jump man a staple um in any retro jordan and I also forgot to mention as well on the side here, well, this is mostly on the inside. You have your little, if I can get the camera to focus, you have your little vent there. Uh, so like I said, all the char characteristics of a Ferrari. Here in the toe box, 
Got your black toe box with your white jump man here. And this is just a fly shoe, a very fly shoe, even down to the tongue. This shoe is so, um, feel like it's ahead of its time. And you see my review of the 13. 13 was more of a chunky shoe, but I mean, you can see the 13 certainly going into that uh, aerodynamic look. You can definitely see the technology that uh, Jordan brand was doing at that time, how it was advancing year by year. Um, and what I like about the 14 is this is it's, it's kind of the cutoff. So most people rock, um, you know, Jordan one through 13, 14s are kind of iffy with a lot of people, but that was really the last big year to wear retros granted people wear 16s and things like that but this is really the final year and that's because well when he was with the bulls jordan's last shot was a jordan 14 that's what they're called the last shots but like i said you can really see the technology and how it advanced at that time uh, for this shoe but yeah these shoes were pretty hard to get and that's that's just the nature of the game right now. Um, most shoes are difficult to get just because everybody's at home. Um, bots are eating right now. They're eating on every shoe. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, the five alternate grapes that came out a couple days ago, I didn't hit on those. So hopefully, hopefully I can hit on those uh, smoke gray ones that drop tomorrow. I really want those. But from what I'm hearing, those shoes are very, very difficult to get. I told y'all I hate doing unboxings on, on camera. Of course, my wife hit on these. This is her uh, very first sneakers app hit. So shout out to her. But yeah, these, I can't wait to see these in hand. So I'm going to read the label for y'all real quick. I'm not going to do a review. I think she's going to do a review on her channel. But the... Um, it reads women's air jordan one high og the color is black black aurora green women's jordan they should have made these in a men they should have made these in a men's men's sizes i mean extended sizes that's just like up to 10 but these right here and they look really really good in hand they really do so just wanted to give a shout out to my wife. I'm gonna link her channel down below for her very first sneakers W on a very dope shoe, as you can see as well. So I'm gonna get these back to her and get her to try these on because if not, we selling these bad boys. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe this video, my channel. Um, let me know how you guys are feeling about these. Jordan 14s, the Jim Reds, and also the Jordan 1 tie-dye. Oh, I'm tie-dyed out too. Yeah, so make sure make sure y'all let me know how you guys like these shoes. Other than that, we out. Hope you all hit on the Jordan 1s that drop tomorrow. Peace.